So the Ashes of Creation commission stream recently ended. And yo, it was low-key a sleeper. Now, it wasn't crazy hype or anything. But a lot of people were saying it was going to be a filler or that's how it seemed. But nah, it was more than that. Now, this stream allowed us to see how we can become more immersed in the world of Vera through commissions. This stream started off differently because we usually see Steven grouped up with some of the developers, but this time he was solo. He then made his way to the commission board. Looking at the commission board, you'll see that eight different types of commissions are available to choose from. They also come in different rarities. The more commissions you end up completing for a node, that'll grant you more reputation within that node, which will in turn grant you rarer commissions. Now you're getting better rewards. Commissions refresh every 30 minutes. Now we're not sure if they can refresh and still offer the same commission that was recently offered. That could be based on RNG or they could be different each time. Now, depending on your node's identity, that'll affect the commissions that are available. If your node is more religion, economic, militaristic based, your available commissions are going to reflect that. It's important to note that each player can see the same commissions that are available during this time and that each player can hold up to 20 commissions that are also shareable with party members. We also found out that quests are also shareable between party members. Obviously, if your node is destroyed, there will be commissions and or quests that you won't be able to finish. All right, that's pretty much commissions overall, but seeing what they do to the world is where things get crazy. So these commissions actually fuel other types of content in the area, side quests and events around you. Steven, he accepted two commissions and he went out to go complete them. Scatter the Horde was the name of the quest where Steven needed to defeat 10 Minotaurs. He headed towards that area and a side quest popped up titled A Strange Minotaur. He continued on his path to the point where he accepted another side quest and went on to kill the original 10 Minotaurs. As he defeated several Minotaurs, an entire new event spawned. The title, Beneath the Stone Shadows where he was required to slay Yuna, the Minotaur Stormweaver. Now that Steven has activated this event, Yuna actually changes the weather when being spawned, which is why we saw it raining and lightning. You can actually get hit by the lightning and die. We need to show off as well, but we didn't show off last man. time. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Somebody res me. <laughs> In this specific scenario, the changing of the weather can influence spawns nearby, side quests, and enemies that relate to the rain. So, from this one event, this branches off to other activities in the area. We're shown an example of this as the stream continues and we see Steven interact with Luna. Finally, they go off to finish the initial commission that they started off trying to complete. Once they got to their destination, the activity completed, and we even got a countdown for the node leveling up. So here, when the node leveled up, it actually spawned a new story arc because of the commission that was completed, generating experience for the node. If you remember, back when we got the Tower of Carfin stream last year, and we saw the event, The Blood Still Do, this was very similar to that. Black smoke filled this area, and the title of this new story arc is An Ancient Violence. For some reason, this man Steven just runs and jumps off of the cliff to go check out the new area that the story arc has now affected. <coughs> now, what do I think about this stream? Okay, I get it. A lot of people thought it was filler. I can understand that, but... Again, I really believe that we needed to see this because this provides a gameplay loop that actually serves a greater purpose. We don't see much solo content, so 
it was nice to see a live stream from that point of view because a lot of solo players are always wondering what change they can inflict on the world. Commissions are something that anybody can do with or without a group and you can still feel like you're making an impact on your server. The thing that I find most interesting about this live stream though is that there is literally no downtime because it goes from commissions to side quests to events to story arcs and throughout that entire time the world is changing around you which is pretty cool granted a story arc more than likely won't pop every single time but the idea is there and this is something that players can be working towards all in all i'd give it a 6.5 i really believe this is something that we needed to see and i'm hoping we'll see more of this soon in alpha 2. so speaking of alpha 2 intrepid at the end of every stream they talk about their updates things are coming along things are doing fine they started talking about the specs for alpha 2. now for the minimum requirements for a graphics card they're like yo you can get by with a 1070. cool you know what steven what do you recommend for a graphics card, an NVIDIA 3070? Dog, what? Yo, my man. Yo, my man. Yo, come over here. Bro, listen. I got what you need. I know you out here late night looking for these honey buns, bro. I got them. By the pack. By the dozen. Do me a favor. Clear me out. We help each other out here. You know what I'm saying? Why do I have a chair in a dark alleyway? Okay, see, here we go. You're asking too many questions. Mind your business. I'm just trying to play a game. This man, Steven, trying to get us locked up. Yo, I'm telling you. Anyway, Alpha 2 is approaching quickly, so go get those PCs updated if you need to. Also, the time has finally come, gentlemen. Been raiding BFD. In World of Warcraft, Season of Discovery, as you all know. And my epic staff has refused to drop since December. It is the end of February. But I am happy to announce that it has dropped for your boy. Super exciting, man. Super exciting. I don't even care that it's not my abyss anymore. I told you, it's the simple fact. A game is not going to disrespect me. All jokes aside, man. This is dope. I love the feeling, the chase, the grind. It's nice to work for something and it's nice to have that accomplishment. So as we continue on in this MMO journey, I can only hope that we're gonna feel that in Ashes of Creation. Anyway, what are your thoughts on the commission stream? Do you think we could have skipped this one or do you think it was imperative for us to see? Please let your boy know in the comment section below. If you haven't created an Ashes of Creation account yet, feel free to use my link in the description. If you're looking for a Discord to come kick it in, feel free to hop on NARS, man. If you want to stay up to date with me, feel free to follow me on X and Twitch where I stream the live monthly updates. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.